weekly moves. Good morning, everyone. Welcome back for an extended weekend. We are here on Tuesday the 24th, bringing you another short week, and the weekly move starts right now. Let's get this week started with a check of the headlines. What's happening this week, Katie? Well, Tuesday at 11, there's a student council meeting in Miss Narcessian's room. Also at noon, claim forms are due to Sherry. Wednesday, there's a cube club meeting in Najelski's room before school at 8 o'clock. Also, grades are due in power school at 4 p.m. There's an NHS meeting in room 203, and all officers must attend. Thursday at 8 a.m., there's a 7th grade SAT meeting in the ITV room. Friday at 8 a.m., there's a staff development coffee in the LMC. Sure sounds like a busy week. It sure is. So, Alex, what do we have this week for lunches? Today we have tater tot hot dish, corn and strawberry sauce with a dinner roll, alternate barbecue ribs. Wednesday we have hamburgers, fries, peaches, and a brownie. Thursday we have barbecue turkey on a bun, peas, pineapple, and an M&M bar. Friday, meatball gravy, mashed potatoes, green beans, applesauce, and a PB&J sandwich. That sounds lovely. Yes, it sure does. So Katie, who has birthdays this week? Monday, happy birthday to Tony Adamzak and happy half birthday to Brandon Haryu, Robbie Moffat, and Frankie White. Happy birthday Tuesday to Micah Van Zee and happy half birthday to Michael Runes and Courtney Lane. Thursday, happy birthday to my girl, Kaylee Lundy, and happy half-birthday to Andrew Klassman. Friday, happy half-birthday to Megan Huso, and Sunday, happy birthday to Jeremiah Chavez and Justin Hipke, and happy half-birthday to Jamie Follett. From all of us here at the Weekly Moose, we hope you have a great birthday. All right, so we came across this guy walking through the hallways of Moose Lake High School. Um, are you a regular watcher of the Weekly Moose? Uh, yes, I would say that. I watch it uh, once a week, usually on Monday mornings. That's good. And uh, would, you, would you say that it is, they did their job, the cast? I feel the Weekly Moose has, has been good. It's been very informational. Um, I would say I, I did enjoy last week's Weekly Moose with um, your way of, of changing the order of things up a little bit. Um, maybe a little bit more of some smiles and some excitement would be good, but um, yeah, I like the way that you switch things up. It was, it was good. All right. Well, thank you. Absolutely. All right. Uh, we're here with Beth Nersessian, and uh, we're going to ask her what she thinks of the Weekly Moose. Opinions? Well, the Weekly Moose pretty much makes my day every Monday. I mean, can't go on Monday without watching it for sure. Do you enjoy watching it rather than hearing Mr. Indahar speak over the intercom? I think it's definitely more entertaining to watch the video, yeah. All right. And that was Beth and session. Thank you. Good. We've come across Jake Indahar in the hallway. Uh, what do you think about the weekly moose compared to your dad speaking over the intercom? I think my dad's better. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, well, there you have it. That was interesting. Wouldn't you say so, Katie? It sure was. Thanks, guys. Now for the sporting events for this week. Take it away, Alex. Today, at 5.45, JV, varsity, girls, and boys basketball at Marshall. Bus leaves at 4. 5.30, JV, varsity, girls hockey at Eveleth Gilbert. Team dismissed at 2.30. Bus leaves at 3. Boys hockey versus Burnett County at 7. Thursday, 4.30, Junior High Boys Basketball versus Hermantown. At 4.30, Junior High Girls Basketball at Hermantown. Team dismissed at 2.50. Bus leaves at 3.10. 5.45, there's a JV Varsity Girls Basketball game at McGregor. Bus leaves at 4.10. Friday, 5.45, Boys Basketball at McGregor. Good luck, sports teams. Show them what it means to be a rebel. Now over to Ryan for the student spotlight. <laughs> All right, well, I'm here with Brett Hopkins. Brett, what's your favorite things to do? Uh, I really like to play football. That's one of my favorite things to do. Oh, yeah? You like the Packers, huh? Well, yeah, the Packers are my favorite team. That's why I love football and got my new Packers jacket from Christmas time. It's pretty sweet. Uh, what do you think of the Packers losing, though? Well, I mean, they have a lot to work on, you know, with their defense especially. 
No pass rush at all. Just horrible. Just horrible, huh? Horrible. Well, what else did you get for Christmas? I got these new shoes right here. Some nice Nikes. They're looking pretty old. Coming undone. They're pretty cheap. Yeah. Yeah, they're expensive though, so. How are your uh, holidays? Oh, they were really great. Went to see my other families and stuff. And yeah. Went hunting. Went hunting. What did you go hunting for? Uh, some deer. Oh, yeah. Didn't see any though. No, you went out uh, bull hunting, huh? Mm hmm. Bull hunting. Bull hunting. Alright, well, I'm here with Brett again. I Brett, do you do anything with the school? Uh, yeah, I'm about to join Cube Club. Cube Club? Yeah, Mr. Nijelski runs that, eh? Oh, yeah, Mr. Nijelski. Yeah? Good guy. <laughs> Good guy. Has that, anyone ever told you you look like him? No? You know? Yeah. yeah. Every day, people are like, you look like Mr. Nijelski. Oh, yeah? You yeah. got any, can you do the face like him? The face? Oh, like, he does... You mean the, the... Well, just, he throws in the little link. <laughs> Yeah. Or the wink, whatever it is. That's what he does, he's... It's a guy. Alright, well, back to you guys. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We appreciate the chance to learn more about our fellow students. And other reminders, there's an every other day cafe located by the gym. Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. It starts at 7.50 and closes at 8.20. So you best go and check out and support our student council. Tuesday, January 24th, grades are due in power school at 4 p.m. January 30th through February 3rd is the week for snow days. And that looks like all for this week. Thanks for sticking with us, everyone. I'm Alex. And I'm Katie. Have a great week. Boys and girls, would you please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.